Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of my future videos. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a PR box from Double Dip Nails. I'm super excited to be unboxing and trying out the products that I received in this package. The first thing I'm showing you is a cute little thank you card. Double Dip has some of the best customer service that I've experienced with some nail companies. So if that's something you value when you buy a product, definitely buy from this company. The next thing I'm pulling out is the Fruit Nail Decal Set. So these are some decals that you can decorate your nails with. Underneath that one, we have the Butterfly Nail Decal Set. So this is basically the same thing, but it's themed like butterflies. I will be unpackaging these in just a few minutes if you would like to see what comes inside of them. I'm going to remove some of the tissue paper. And the last thing that I got in my PR box is the brand new Bella Vina Gel Art Liner Collection. So with this collection, you get 12 different gel liner colors. They're tin free, non-toxic, highly pigmented, cruelty free, and vegan. I've been so excited to try out this product. I've seen a lot of companies coming out with their own gel art liners. And now that Double Dip has their own, it was the first thing that I wanted to do as soon as I seen that they released them. So I'm going to go ahead and unpackage all of the items that came in my PR box. So let's get started. The first one I'm going to be unpackaging is the Fruit Nail Decal Set. So I just went ahead and grabbed some scissors to open up this package. And here is the contents of the decoration set. So here I'm showing you a container of 12 different shapes of fruits. I do believe that they are clay, but they're basically really thin sliced nail decals that you can put on your nails to create a fruit themed manicure. I really love these strawberries right here and I think those are the first ones that I'm going to be trying out. So keep an eye out for that video as it will be coming soon. You'll also get another container and this one does have a few fruit pieces in it as well, but this one is a bunch of random stuff. I really like this one because about every time I look at it, I see something I hadn't seen before, which I really do like the randomness of this container. You also get a little thank you card and I noticed that mine was stuck to one of the sticker sheets. I believe this is because it's super hot where I am and maybe just during shipping it got too hot and kind of melted the stickers to the thank you card. I did manage to take off as many stickers as I could to save them, but I did lose a few of them. <laughs> so that was really sad. But here is that sticker sheet. As you can see, they're not really in order, but I saved as many as I could. Here is that little thank you card. So because of the thank you card being stuck to them, these nail stickers are not in order, but I really love how these peaches look and I can't wait to use them on a nail look. That is the first sheet of stickers and the next one is some limes. The next sticker sheet is some watercolor style fruits. I really like how this strawberry looks. And last but not least, you get some really cute watermelon and strawberry nail stickers. Let's go ahead and unpackage the butterfly nail decal set. I went ahead and grabbed some scissors to open up this package as well. The contents of this nail decal set is very similar to the first one. You get a container of 12 different colors of holographic butterflies. You also get a second container of holographic butterflies, but these seem to be a little bit lighter colors than the first container. You also get eight sheets of this super shiny gold butterfly nail stickers. I'll go ahead and show you all of them. And for the rest of the contents, you do get some small pink tweezers. These are really cute and they're really good to pick up the stickers from the sticker sheets to place on your nails. You also get the insert card and you get a bunch of small rhinestones. So as always, I will link all of these products down below in the description box. 
Let's move on to the gel art liner collection. I'm so excited to try out these gel liners. So here is the back of the box if you would like to pause and read. It basically just tells you the ingredients and how to use these gel liners. So as you can see, I'm just removing the plastic from the box. Once you open the side of the box, you're able to slide out all 12 of these gel liners. So like the first thing I noticed when I pulled out these gel liners is they do have the color swatch on the top of the lid which I find very very attractive when it comes to gel polishes. I do love to see the swatch of all of the colors before I actually try to use it. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these gel liners from the plastic. I honestly don't know why I'm taking them out like this, it's honestly like the difficult way to remove them but anyway. So here are all of the 12 gel liner colors. I really love the quality of these bottles. You do get a lighter pink shade of gel polish, a darker pink, purple, a red, an orange, a neon yellow, green, blue, white, black, silver, and gold. So here's a little close up of the orange one. They don't have any names, but they are numbered on the back. I'm just going to quickly show you the white one and as you can see the brush is very fine which is really good for fine brush strokes. I'm just going to test out this white gel polish so you can see how the lines look. After you apply your gel, you would then cure under the UV LED lamp for one minute and then apply your gel top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the manicure portion of this video. I have already prepped my natural nails and added a layer of base gel. I am going to be applying the Bellavina Coffin Long Jelly Tips. I will be applying them with the Liquid Builder Gel and I will be using a UV LED lamp to cure it into place. The first step is to size out all of the jelly tips for your nails. I have already done this step, so here are all of the sizes for my jelly tips. To size out the jelly tips to your nails, you want to make sure that the jelly tip goes from sidewall to sidewall. If you're in between sizes, use the bigger jelly tip and file to fit your nail. So for the application of these jelly tips, I'm going to start by taking the liquid builder gel and apply some of this product at the cuticle area of the jelly tips. You do not need to spread this product over the entire jelly tip nail and you also do not need too much product otherwise you're going to have a lot underneath your nail which is not fun. So I'm going to start by taking the jelly tip and pushing it down at my cuticle area and then slowly push the jelly tip down into place. Once the liquid filter gel reaches the free edge of my natural nail, I'm going to hold it into place and put it under the UV LED lamp for one minute. And that's how you apply the jelly tip. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process for all of the other nails. So if you have any issues applying your jelly tips with this method, 100% you need to try doing this method with clear poly gel. The reason for this is liquid builder gel is a lot runnier than poly gel is, so it's very difficult to hold the nail in the exact same place as you try to cure it into place, and you also may get bubbles and stuff, so if you're having any issues with this type of jelly tip application, definitely go and try the poly gel application with the jelly tips. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video on it, I will link right here along in the description. So after all of the jelly tips are cured into place, now it's time for the fun part! I'm going to be picking out the gel polish colors for this nail design. I've always seen this design done with pinks, but today I wanted to try doing it with blue. So I'm taking that blue gel liner, and this is number 8 if you are curious. I'm also going to be using the white shade of gel polish, and this is number 9. You can use however many and whatever colors that you would like. 
After I have my two colors picked out, I also want to mention I've already painted my nails a new color. The reason for this is I am doing French tip nails, so I need a good nude base on my nail. I did custom mix this, so I can't link the product down below. I apologize. So I'm going to start by taking that blue gel art liner, and I'm going to go ahead and start doing my French tip nail. So to start the French tips, I'm going to start in the corner of my nail and draw a curved line until I reach the center of the nail. Once I reach the center, I'm then going to repeat the same step on the other half of the nail to complete the smile line. You can draw this line as curvy or as straight as you would like. Personally, I do like quite a deep smile line, so I do make this line pretty curved. It's very similar to just drawing out an almond shaped nail, and then after you have the smile line, you're going to fill in the tip of the nail. Now I do know that this is a liner brush, but if you get a decent amount of product onto your brush, it's pretty easy to fill in bigger areas of the nail, but if you're too impatient, you can just pour some out and use a bigger brush to paint the tip of the nail. So I can confirm that these are highly pigmented gel polishes, which is really good because when you're doing nail art, you do not want to have to sit and do multiple layers of your gel polish color. So if you're looking for a good pigmented gel liner, this is it. So after the tip of the nail is completely filled in, I'm then going to go back and touch up any mistakes within my smile line. After I've perfected that fringe tip nail, I'm then going to do a flash cure under my UV LED lamp and I'm going to repeat the same process on my ring finger nail and also my thumb. These two nails are going to be the same dark blue shade of gel polish. You can do whatever colors to whichever nails that you like, but personally I knew that I wanted the accent nails to be on my pinky and my middle finger, but again that's completely up to you. I'm also going to be doing a dark blue fringe tip on my thumbnail as well. So after all of those fringe tips are done, I'm then going to cure under the UV LED lamp and I'm going to repeat the same process to the other two nails using the white gel liner. I do want to mention that this white gel art liner is super pigmented, which is really important when you're doing nail art with. As some of you may know, it can be a little bit difficult to find a super pigmented white gel polish and this is one of those. If you're looking for a white gel polish in a normal gel polish brush that is super pigmented like this one, definitely go and check out the Bella Vina Super White Gel Polish. That is basically the same formula as this here, and they're super pigmented. After the white French tips have been painted on, I'm then going to do a full cure under the UV LED lamp. After the nails are cured, I'm then going to take a small piece of paper, this is from a nail form, and I'm going to take that blue gel art liner and I'm going to place a little bit of this gel polish onto the piece of paper. The reason for this is I need a lighter shade of blue gel polish, so to mix up that color, I'm just going to place it on this piece of paper. I'm then going to take the white gel liner and add a small drop of this onto the blue gel polish. I'm then going to take the brush from the blue gel art liner bottle and I'm going to mix up those two colors. This is going to give me a lighter shade of blue which is exactly what I wanted to do the nail art with. I 
do wish that kits like this would come with more shades of blues and greens instead of like three shades of pink, but that's just a personal preference. Once I have the color mixed up, I'm then going to take the same liner brush and start the design on the white French tip nail. I'm starting on the right side of the French tip and drawing a line until I get to the center of the nail, then swirling it around back and forth. After I have the curved line, I'm then going to start filling in the right side of the yin and yang symbol. I am leaving a negative space circle on the blue side of the symbol. If this is too difficult, you can fill in the entire right side and then go back in with a dot of the white gel polish. Once I've done the negative space circle, I'm then going to continue and fill in the right side of this design. After the right side of the nail has been filled in, I'm then going to go back and fix any imperfections. After the right side has been painted, I'm then going to take a dotting tool and pick up the lighter shade of blue gel polish. I'm then going to create a dot on the white side of the symbol. I'm then going to flash cure under the lamp. I'm then taking the dotting tool and the same blue gel polish and I'm going to be creating a cow print on the pinky French tip nail. Cow print is very easy to achieve. To avoid having the cow print nail look like a Dalmatian print nail, Try making the circles a little bit bigger. I'm then going to cure under the UV LED lamp. To avoid getting any of that gel polish color in the gel liner bottle, I'm going to make sure to thoroughly clean the liner brush and I'm doing this with a lint-free wipe to avoid getting any lint within the gel liner bottle. Next, I'm taking the white gel liner and I'm going to be doing a design on the ring finger now. Starting from the left corner of the French tip design, I'm going to be drawing a wavy line all the way down to the free edge of the nail. I'm going to repeat the same step very closely to the first line that I created. For this nail, I am creating a zebra print on the left side of the French tip nail. To make the nail look more like a zebra, you can thicken up parts of the line and also add more lines coming off of the other ones. For the index nail, I'm going to be drawing a smiley face with X's for eyes. You can do whatever designs on your French tip nails that you want. Personally, I did kind of mimic some of the designs that I've seen on other mix and match French tip nails because I do love the aesthetic of it. I also want to mention that I did the same design in a different color on my other hand, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to see what color I used on the other hand. After the smiley face has been complete, I'm going to do another flash cure under the lamp. I'm then going to take the white gel liner and add a small dot of the gel polish onto the piece of paper. Then taking a wide nail art brush, I'm going to scoop up the white gel polish along with the other two shades of blue gel polish. Once I have a large amount of gel polish on the nail art brush, I'm going to start sliding the nail art brush onto the French tip nail. As I move across the nail, I am wiggling the nail art brush. 
This is going to create wavy lines within the nail art. I'm going to repeat the same process until the entire fringe tip has been covered. After the design is complete, I'm going to do a full cure under the lamp. After the nails are cured, I'm then going to take the Bellavina top coat from the Fresh Start Poly Gel Nail Kit and apply a layer of this to all of the nails. I really love the consistency of this gel top coat and it leaves a beautiful shine on your nails. After the top coat has been applied, I'm going to hold my hand upside down for a few seconds before curing. This is going to level out the gel and give you a very smooth surface. After the nails are fully cured, I'm going to take the cuticle oil, which is number 6, and apply this to all of my cuticles. This cuticle oil smells amazing and is very hydrating for your skin. And here are the nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like this design as much as I do. If you would like to see the other hand, here it is. Let me know down in the comments which color you like better. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!